Good morning, YouTube. Uh, how's it going today? Uh, so I just uh, woke up, drank some coffee. I uh, shouldn't really drink that stuff, but, you know, it's what it is. And also, uh, today is Mental Health Day. So I'm going to try to spread some empathy by explaining what it feels like to be depressed. And um, right now, I'm going to go do a time lapse and enjoy that. And we'll talk some more later. So have a good day. Welcome back uh, to my vlog today. Uh, today was a good day overall. overall. Um, uh, so uh, I woke up, you just saw the video, I did some time lapses, I drove all around Fallbrook and Bonzo area. It was great. And then I, um, I went over to uh, get some work done, you saw that. And then I just got a EIN um, and then I uh, went to uh, Chase Bank and I opened up a business account uh, and also I got a, a business credit card which is great uh, so now I feel kind of more official about everything um, everything is going great uh, and awesome um, and overall wise really good I think I'm going to talk about tomorrow uh, how to get an EIN uh, you know and then a bank uh, business bank account it's super simple, but you know, I was, I was like, what the heck am I doing? I haven't, I didn't really see anything online. Um, but it's, it's way simpler than I thought it was going to be. Um, so, which is good. Um, also, whoop, uh, I went to work out today, you know, every day, uh, you saw kind of the clip before or the, the video and clip before. Um, it's great. By the way, the leaving stuff, I had it on the wrong um, mode so it's time lapsed versus actually video so I mean I'm, I'm still getting the kinks out of this so it's uh, working on it but yeah uh, besides that uh, it's mental health day uh, mental health day wise is kind of talking about mental health uh, stuff um, you know just you know today I want to spread some empathy and tell you kind of how it feels to be depressed um, if you feel depressed and you are depressed go get help talk to you know mental mental health professional, go and uh, see like a psychiatrist, psychologist, uh, go join a group. Um, and I realized that sometimes we don't want to join groups, but it was a big thing for me. So yeah, I don't know if that's in frame or not. So anyway, sorry. Uh, yeah. And then, so just having a good time with it overall, um, and doing, uh, I'm, I'm having a good time with life right now. Uh, but the thing is that I was depressed. So 
I wanted to go through some of the things um, that I've, I have felt in the past and also kind of feel sometimes when I'm uh, now, you know, I'm, I'm still working on it. So, um, you know, what does it feel like to be impressed? Uh, everything is wrong. So your brain, uh, for at least my experience and experience when I've talked to other people that have been depressed, um, your brain tells you that everything is wrong. Everything sucks. Everything is wrong. Um, and the issue is that you're trying to, uh, and you, you start believing it, right? And then from there, you, you kind of go deeper. Um, and we've talked about kind of how, how to get through that, you know, go and just uh, challenge everything. Your brain says you suck. Say, no, I don't, right? Um, I've done this, this, and this, and this. Everybody has accomplishments. Um, and even if there's minute, the thing is that you have to override positivity or negativity with positivity. Because if it not, then you'll override with uh, negativity. Um, the next thing is uh, feeling trapped. That's a huge thing. Um, that, were, that was a huge thing when I was in school. Uh, when you saw me, you know, back in, you know, uh, well, it was how to be a millionaire, but um, it was just journey to abundance pretty much day zero. Uh, but yeah, I felt trapped and I felt uh, like I couldn't get out. And that was a huge thing that it's a lie, right? You can, you can get out of most situations. One, the next thing, uh, just not feeling good enough. Uh, not feeling good enough is a huge thing, uh, too. Um, you know, not good enough to have friends, not good enough to have a good job, not good to have enough to do anything. And that's a complete lie. I mean, all this stuff is a lie that your brain tells you, but you're just not feeling good enough. So, uh, so you kind of isolate, you know, and that's the kind of next thing is isolation, right? You, you isolate because you, you're just, you feel like you're a waste of everybody else's time. Um, and it's not true. You're loved, you're accepted, um, to who you are. If you're not loved and accepted for who you are, go get some more, you know, new friends, right? There are, there's somebody out there for everybody, um, and go get, you know, find those people because that's, that is there, right? Um, you know, it's, it's a huge thing to kind of, you know, once I found a friend group that accepted me for my brain, um, it was a lot better for me. Um, it was a lot easier for me to kind of deal with. Um, loneliness in a, in a crowded room. Uh, we've heard that before. Um, you know, many times it's just, you know, the lie, you know, you just feel like you don't want to bother people, right? I have a big problem with that is that I want to get out of other people's way. Um, and I'm starting to try to take up space in this world versus try to hide, you know, like get out of people's way and whatever, um, you know, not that they walk over me, but like, you know, you know, giving up space that is, it's yours already. Um, and I've done that before and I keep continue to do that. Um, it, I want to make sure that I'm kind, but I get, you can become a little bit too kind with it, uh, because you're just trying to hide from people and hide from the world and have people not really see you. And that's a huge thing. Um, you know, feeling like you're missing out. So you see on Facebook, Instagram, uh, Twitch or Twitch, oh, well, Twitch too, but, uh, t um, I almost said Tinder. Well, that's kind of a true statement too, but, uh, uh, Twitter, um, you know, you feel like you're missing out. So you look at other people's life and you're like, oh, well, I wish I was like that, or I wish I was like that, or I wish I was like that. Um, the thing is that, you know, you can be, right. You just have to kind of work yourself out of that. Um, not that, not that depression is a thing that, um, it's just, I hate when people say, oh, just work harder because they don't really understand depression, right? It's a mental thing. But the thing is that this thing, this is about changing your framework and change your mindset about it. And then hopefully that would help you kind of get out of the rut. So then you can take the steps to get help and get to the place you need to be, right? Because I know for a fact of which when I'm depressed wise, I don't want to get help from anybody. I don't want to talk to anybody, you know, just leave me alone. You know, I'm just going to be moping and things like that. Um, but, you know, forcing yourself to say, hey, I'm going to go get help or I'm going to go do this, go take a walk like we talked about or go get mental health, um, you know, help or whatever. Uh, that's a huge thing. So, um, wanting to change, but not being able to, 
uh, that's a huge thing. I kind of talked about that. Um, but the thing is that you know, biting off too big of chunks, right? Uh, Atomic Habits kind of uh, taught me, and I definitely suggest the book, I forget who wrote it, um, but At Atomic Habits taught me that just start from a little bit, right? Uh, start a little bit at a time and you'll build up to, your, to, to something and a, and a habit or a behavior that you want. Um, like this blog-wise, I, I started this blog in the worst time uh, uh, well, not the worst time in life, but the second worst time in life or third worst time. Um, and, uh, but I started and said to myself, I said, I'm going to keep one promise to myself. And that promise is doing this vlog because it helps me. And I get to talk through the camera and talk to you guys and talk to, um, to, you know, the, you know, kind of do a journal type thing with it. You know, I share a lot of things. It's funny. My mom's like, why do you share so much stuff? I'm like, well, it's a digital age and things like that, um, but it, it, it helps me talk uh, and kind of get through things and, and kind of accountability mirror uh, from David Goggins' book. Um, not enough energy to do anything. Uh, that is a huge thing, too. Um, it's just that, like, getting up and going to eat can be really hard. Uh, getting up and showering could be hard. Um, getting up and and uh, kind of going and uh, you know being in class, right? I had a really hard time just going to class in school, even if I loved the subject, loved the teacher. Um, I studied video games in uh, college. I loved most of the subjects, um, but the thing is my mindset said I hate it. Um, I hate it all, I don't wanna be here, things like that. And it was, a, it was a kind of an opportunity missed to kind of learn more than what I did but at the same time, uh, it's what my brain was telling me and what my brain kind of went through at that time. So and that's a huge thing. Um, not enough energy. You know, I remember just wanting to be at home, sitting there um, and doing the bare, bare minimum uh, to succeed. And I'm not that type of person that just wants to do, you know, get C's. Um, I mean, I've never been an A and B student, but I, I didn't want to go into the video game college and just be C's, but I, that's, that's kind of how I ended up, um, you know, waiting to last minute to do things, stuff like that, because I didn't have the energy. And then I would escape into video games or escape into YouTube or escape into video uh, movies or whatever. Um, and, uh, but on that, you know, on the other side, just kind of forcing yourself in a way, uh, try to raise a standard, make it so that you have to in a, in a way. So, so um, you're putting up that roadblock in front of you and saying, I have to jump over this roadblock or jump over this hurdle and then just gain momentum that way. Um, you know, like I said, start small, you know, go and say, I'm going to you know, shower every day at eight o'clock or whatever and just do that, right, and use that momentum. And then once that gets there, I'm going to do this, you know, and just add um, not care about consequences. I remember doing this being there. Um, I didn't care if I graduated from college or not. After I spent eight years in it, I was there because that's what I knew and that's what I wanted to finish. But, um, I barely graduated. Like I, I, okay. I wrote, uh, you know, I wrote like a paper, things like that. I, I was trying, but I didn't really, really didn't care that, about the consequences. I was like, you know, it just didn't really matter. Um, and that's, that's a big thing is just like nothing matters and just my despair and things like that and pulling yourself out from there. It's a huge, huge struggle. Um, but just like I said, start small. So start small. Um, and, and the last thing, you know, thinking nobody cares about you. Um, it's a lie. Um, you have people that do care about you, even strangers. I care. I'm a I'm an empathetic person. Um, you know, I make I'm making this channel and talking about mental health because I think it's a huge thing that that plagues uh, one the veteran community. I'm a veteran, um, and then two, um, it plagues just the the rest of the world and the rest of the, uh, especially the United States. Um, just talking about this stuff and getting out in the open and having discussion and things like that. And I'm perfectly okay with you if you disagree or things like that. Um, but my thing is that I care about every human, uh, most humans, 
Like, I'm going to say that. Like, some people just need to not be on this planet, but that's a different discussion. Um, but I care about every human. I want them to be thriving because that's the, that's, I think that's where we should be. Um, that's not where we are now, but that's where we should be. So, um, and I want to help out with this channel and with everything that I do for the rest of my life is to get spread empathy. Um, and yeah, so I do care. Um, I care about you. I want you to succeed and I want you to be the best you can be. Uh, so if you, if you are, needing help right now to get out of things, I definitely suggest, you know, talking to a mental health uh, person, um, you know, calling if you need the suicide hotline. Um, I don't have it on me right now, but I'll, I'll put it on. Um, I'll put it on my video uh, at the end. Um, and just overall, you know, making it happen. So in, in conclusion wise of this, this video, just this is what it kind of feels like. Um, you know, and if you're depressed or you know somebody to, to be depressed, uh, give yourself space, right? Don't, don't be too hard on yourself. That's a huge thing. You just don't be too hard. Just kind of spread, just say, okay, let me do this. And then when you, when you stumble, cause you're going to, you know, just stumble, uh, and then get back up and keep on going. Use, use that grit to get out and use anything that you really can. Um, my suggestion is not, not substance abuse because, um, it kind of just leads down a further hole. I've done that before. Um, you know, it's, it's from food to marijuana to uh, alcohol. Um, you know, I've done all of those. Uh, uh, Sex-wise, I've done that too. Um, so my suggestion is not to find comfort in anything else. Uh, so, um, but I'm going to leave it here today. I hope everybody is well. And... Uh, Enjoy the sunset. Mm -hmm.